I would like to say good morning, but uh, there is nothing good about this morning. Want to tell them about it, puppy? All right, guess it's up to me. Let me explain. So actually, yesterday my great grandfather passed away, and my dad was gonna go up to see the family and try to help you know, organize things for the funeral, help his parents and stuff. It was really a spontaneous thing, you know. It was one of those things where you can never like expect those things, I guess. Like we knew that he wasn't gonna be around much longer, but we didn't think it was gonna happen so suddenly. And you can't really prepare yourself for those things. So I decided that the best course of action would be to try to just push everything into the Jeep so I could go with my dad and just be there for the week. I still had a lot of things I wanted to repair on the Jeep and I had my whole week planned out and what I needed fixed and I planned to just take it slow, take my time and get the whole Jeep ready within the week. But since this happened, I decided that I'm just gonna worry about it later and I can fix it down the road. So I'm not gonna be as prepared as I wanted to be, but I figured I was still in good enough shape that I'd be able to make it to Kansas. And I was entirely wrong. So we left the house by about six o'clock in the afternoon, a little later than my dad would have liked to, but that's about as long as it took me to pack up everything and get it ready. And when we started driving down the road, the Jeep started jerking and sputtering and eventually it just like completely gave out. So I had to pull over on the side of the road and we were having trouble getting it started. I had been having issues with it in the past, but it seemed like as soon as it started, it ran just fine. I didn't have any problems after that. So I didn't think much of it since that was all it was. It would have a little bit of a starting issue and if it ran, it would never die. So I assumed that there was no issue and it wasn't the same issue as we were having before where it was an electrical issue. Um, despite my PTSD of trauma from my history of this stupid Jeep, it had nothing to do with that issue because it would sputter, it just wouldn't engage. And sometimes it would even sputter and start, but then it would give out. So we thought it might be the fuel pump going out. And we decided that as long as we could make it to Bucky's, we would be able to fix it. So we were trying to just rough it out. Every once in a while we could get the Jeep to start and I would be able to get maybe a mile or two down the road before it gave out again. So we were just kind of crawling all the way to Bucky's and eventually we got to a point where we could not get it to start. So my dad decided to tow me. Long story short, we were a mile away from Bucky's and we both started talking to each other on the phone trying to communicate some stuff and we both got distracted. He slowed down and I didn't notice that he slowed down. So after I went to slow down, the slack in the tow, wrap, tow strap actually got tangled in my driver's side front tire and it snapped my brake line and <laughs> it was kind of scary. My brake completely went out and I wasn't able to brake. I was yelling at him to stop. I was slammed on my brake, which didn't exist anymore and I was about to rear-end him. So I had to whip to, into the ditch and he didn't understand what was going on. So he kept trying to pull me. So he's pulling me by one end. I don't have any brakes and I'm just trying not to like flip over at this point. And I was able to stop after he stopped and Thankfully, nobody got hurt, but after that, I didn't have brakes. We were only a mile away from Bucky's, so we were trying to see if we what we could fix before we got there. AutoZone was the only auto parts store open in the area, and it closed at 10, and we had about 30 minutes until it was 10 o'clock. So my dad actually drove out ahead of me to go get the parts that we'd need to see if we'd be able to fix the brake line and then get to Bucky's before trying to mess with the fuel pump. Well, he got the fuel pump, but the brake lines, they didn't have it. He just bought like regular black fuel line hoses and we tried to like clamp those down and make kind of like this makeshift braking system because all we needed to do was drive a mile and get to the Bucky's and then we could figure it out from there. But eventually we gave up and it was already like 1130 or something like that. After we started messing with things, my dad was having trouble closing the passenger side door and Kai realized that it wasn't completely closed and he poked his nose at it and it opened. So then Kai got out. It's like 11 o'clock at night. We can't see anything. It's a decently busy road because it's right off a highway. And he was just running around. It was a mess. We were both tired. We were hungry. We were stranded. And eventually I got Kai, but <laughs> I actually was like just anticipating for Kai to get hit by a car because there were so many times that he came so close and luckily he didn't. He's safe now, 
but it was just a complete mess of a day. Um, eventually we gave up and I called AAA to get a tow truck and they told me that they would contact me back when they got a hold of one, which basically meant that we were still gonna be there for a few hours. Um, even though it was sitting in the ditch, we were able to bang on the fuel pump enough to get it to start and I was able to kind of park on a more flat surface and after a while of the Jeep kind of running, we decided that we were gonna try to see if I could make it to Bucky's. The best plan was, since I didn't have any brakes, was to push it into four low and just drive like 15 miles an hour all the way to Bucky's. So if I ever need to slow down, I could use engine braking. Cat has no complaints. He loved it the whole time. <laughs> Sleeping in the Jeep at a parking lot was kind of okay to me plus I have the bed and everything my dad actually has my old cop pad and he ended up just kind of rearranging things so he could sleep that night and my dad had to be on a work call at like six o'clock in the morning and so for him he really is like exhausted now and it's just been a mess of a day he's been on call most of the day doing his work and ever since seven o'clock in the morning I've been turning wrenches on the Jeep so I had to drop the gas tank and try to figure out the fuel pump situation and after I took it out I found out that it actually might have not been the fuel pump but there was a ground wire connected to the fuel pump that had come off and it really wasn't a good design in the first place. We ended up kind of splicing our own design so now I know for a fact that it's grounded. So that's our best guess. Really hoping that's all it is but the biggest issue right now is the fuel line. We're trying to replace the fuel hose. We got the part, but now we actually need to do it. And I've never done this before, but now that I'm having to do research on how to do it, we're finding out that it's either gonna be a piece of cake or if that bolt is seized on there too tight, we might have to end up trailering the Jeep. My dad just went to the auto parts store to try to get the wrench we need to actually remove that bolt. But um, after he comes back, it's either going to be a quick 20 minute job and the Jeep is going to be ready for the road or it's going to be a nightmare and we might have to trailer the Jeep so he just got back with the tools what the whole kit Harbor Freight there's only I two miles say. down the road oh really I just started driving toward Home Depot and I, I was did like, see Harbor Freight I'm like ooh Harbor Freight <laughs> how much was it these are 15 bucks that's better there were 20 bucks at the other place yeah well, they, I was going to get these high-end ones, uh -huh. but then I realized they're not exactly the same. They're more like a universal fit. We don't want that. Yeah. Cool. That's a cool puppy. So, the brake line is stripped, which means we're not going anywhere anytime soon. Um, Dang, the butt. Oh, huh? oh. Tired puppy? Yeah. I'm just gonna pump until you say stop. 